Hey, Frank. What's up, brother? Hey, man. How's it going? I just thought I'd pop in real quick and just see how you were, man. Just uh, let you know, man. It was kind of fun last night at the uh, at Club Red. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. It was all right. But I saw you had a beer in your hand, though, man. Are you okay? Yeah, my boss has been, like, trying to peer pressure me. I think he knows that, you know, I have problems, and I think he was trying to use that. I took two sips, and I threw the rest of it away. So I'm not going to let him try to get to me, man. Uh, is he that, that big of a snake? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I know he's up to something, and I have to maintain that um, I'm on board with him 100%, so I kind of uh, I took a couple sips of the beer, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. I just want to make sure you're all right, man. Yeah, I'm cool. So Charlie saw me, too, and he was worried, and I told him, hey, dude, I'm fine. You got to worry about nothing. I immediately just put it back. I didn't have any cravings, which is good. Well, that's good. At least you don't have cravings. No, no, then I'd have a big problem. I just... It's not that I don't have, you know, I don't, I don't have cravings. It's just that I just need to stay away from it because it's, you know, too much of it is bad. And reminds me of some bad things in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, man. I know. Speaking of Mitch, yeah, he was kind of interesting last night, hanging out there, all cleanly shaven. What do you make of that? I don't know, Dave. I, I don't know. He's up to something, and you know how it is. I just, I just leave well enough alone. As long as he stays out of my way, then we're okay. Yeah, me too, but. Fortunately, I gotta keep an eye on him because, you know, I'm an officer of this town, you know? I understand, man. I totally understand. Hey, the reason why I came by, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, the nurse's ball is coming up uh, next month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my girl told me to ask you, Liesl, she wanted to check with you to see if uh, we can rely on, you know, depend on you and your family to make a generous donation this year. As always. As always, my brother, I will, man. Uh, Tracy and I were talking about that already, too, and all the other stuff going on in the quarter main house, you know. But the nurse's ball definitely is a priority. We'll make sure we take care of it, and, uh, and we'll be there, too. So you're going to be there. Yeah, yeah, Liesl and I are going to be there. So you two are getting kind of serious. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's treating me good, man. Well, that's good. Maybe that's the one... You might be the one person that straighten her up and keep her on a straight and narrow. Look, Frank, I'm not trying to put anybody on a straight and narrow. But, you know, she is who she is. I'm not trying to change her. She knows if she gets out of line that it's done between us. Well, are you sure if she does something bad or calculating or evil like she's known to do? Come on, man. Easy. No, seriously. If she does, at this point in the game, man, you've been with her for several months. I mean... Are you able to walk away from her? Let me feel you. Can't you see I'm not afraid? Well, Carlos, I don't know. I'm, I'm in agreement with you. I think we need to take out... We definitely need to take out Lavery. We need to take out Lavery, and we need to take him out now. I just don't want anybody to get hurt. What do you mean? I don't want anything to happen to Sabrina. She is number one to me. I don't want anything to happen to her. My Sabrina is off limits, son. You gotta worry about Sabrina getting hurt. Why would that be? Well, because cause Lavery had business with ELQ before. And if he's over there at VLQ and, and, and the baby, you know, her baby after, that she's watching, Michael's kid, whatever that situation is, if Sabrina's over there at ELQ and all of a sudden something goes down, it's not going to look good if, if Lavery's over there. Well, why would he be over there anyways? Severed ties with ELQ a long time ago. I know. But if I'm following him, and if there's anything, if he knows that I'm up, if I'm on him, then there could be a problem there, boss. I don't want to make sure, but I want to take him out. But I want to make sure nobody else gets hurt. I have to take them out the right time at the right place. Well, that's what I'm saying. So don't worry about going to ELQ. If he goes to ELQ, you just stay away. Is that clear? Yeah, I suppose I could do that. I just want to make sure... I don't want Sabrina, my Sabrina, to look at me like a bad man. Well, you're not a bad man, Carlos. You're just you're an employee. You're doing what you got to do. Oh, yeah, well, speaking of employees, I don't like that Jake Doe guy. I really don't. Julian, does he really need to work for us? Look, the decision's already made. He's working for us. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I smell a rat. I don't like it. Julian, I think that we, we, we don't need him in the organization. Let me tell you something. I did it as a favor for my daughter. 
my daughter and my family are my priority. You know that, right? I understand that, but well, then it's not up for debate. In fact, last time I checked, I was still the boss. <sighs> Mr. Corinthal, sir, I'm so, I really, really appreciate it. I'm really happy that, you know, that you're supporting me and, and it means the world to me that I challenged him to a duel and he, 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 he tried to back down like a coward. And the cowardless one he is, you know, he may be full of brawn, brain, muscle. I have the brains, he has the muscle. Calm down, Spinelli, just relax, man. No, 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 no. See, see, he he knows that my affections for the great Maximista are unwarranted by his, by his sculpture, Greek god of a body that he may have. You need to calm down, Spinelli. But, but this is it, see. I cannot lose my Maximista. She means the world to me. I love her. And all due respect, Mr. Corinthos, sir, I'm glad that, that you're on my side and, and I'm really quite surprised. Why would you be surprised? I've known you for a long time. Well, well, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I have your support 100%. And, and, and what advice can you give me right now, Mr. Corinthos, sir? I, you know, please, can you, can, can, you help, can you help me out? Can you let me know what I should do? Well, first of all, you need to speak English, because I don't understand what the hell you're saying, and I don't understand a damn word that's coming out of your mouth. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I, I, I understand, Spinelli. Listen, you should just go ahead and call it off. Call this thing off. You don't have to do this. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I bet to differ. I definitely have to, to admonish my love for Maximista has no boundaries. I'm going to carry out the tradition seen, seen through, just like Darth. Vader, or Darth Maul, which was the former Darth Vader, which then went, well, what the hell are you talking about, Spinelli? Well, in Star Wars, the evil empire didn't necessarily win. And and he's the evil empire, and I'm the one that's going to win. He's not evil. He's just a detective. He's a good guy. What are you talking about? Well, when it comes to my Maximista, everybody that, anyone that tries to get in the way of our fair love from fondness for each other and, and for my heart, for the blonde Maximista... They're gonna have to deal with me, and then, then they're hence they are evil. So I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> what is it, Spinelli? What do you need? I need you to. Can you teach me how to box in the like, next like 59 minutes or no, 58 minutes and 47 seconds? I'm counting. Oh God, Spinelli, you sure you want to go through this? <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta do it. I, I gotta. I, I gotta do it. Can you please uh, help me so I can you know get ready? Time's ticking. All right, all right. Get in the ring. Let me show you. Hey Spence, how you, how you doing? I don't want to be here, Father. I'm, I hate it here. You're you're doing okay. You just gotta you, you just gotta get well, son. You just gotta get. I want to get well. I'm not gonna get well until till that pyromaniac gets thrown in jail. What are you talking about? That pyromaniac, Cam. He's the one that set the fire. He's the one that made me look disfigured and look like Freddy Krueger for the rest of my life. Son, you need to stop it. You're not going to look like Freddy Krueger. Well, I'm going to look some, like all messed up. I'm going to look just like when Darth Vader and they took his helmet off and how burned up he looked. I'm permanently disfigured, Father. You're not going to be permanently disfigured. And it, I owe it all to Cameron. He's the one that did it. He's the one that put me in this hospital bed and disfigured me for the rest of my life. That's not true. It was an accident, son. You gotta understand. It was an accident. How was it an accident? He burned He burned the house down, and I was there, and he knew it. He didn't know it. Spencer, you need to stop talking like that. Now, listen. He had his coat or something, and he grabbed it, and he knocked something over with it, and it was a mistake. It was an accident. Spencer, he didn't do it on purpose. Well, he needs to go to jail. He's not going anywhere. So he can roam free all around this world, the any repercussionsists of things that he has to do to to pay for his crimes. He didn't do a crime, son. Why you gotta quit talking like this? No, he he needs to pay for what he's done. And when I'm out of here, I want to make sure that he pays and spends the rest of his life behind bars. Son, please, you really are taking this too far. Too far. He took too much of my face away from me, and now I'm disfigured and permanently ugly and scarred, and I look like a troll or like the elephant man for the rest of my life. You're just not going to get it, son. It's, it's going to be okay, I promise you. 
Well, promises, promises, Father. <sighs> Matt Cameron, it's all his fault. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <sighs> son, son, son. I anticipate you'll have some good news for me. I do have good news for you. I do. Wait, somebody's calling. Hang on. Hello. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Now, where were we? Yes, where were we? My dear, my dear, my dear. I'm so glad that you picked up the phone when I called, because if you wouldn't have... That wouldn't have been a wise decision. Of course I'd pick up the phone when you call. I wanted to tell you something. And I wanted to tell you this. I called you because it's very important. Well, I'm glad it is, and I'm glad you called. What can I do for you? Please, do you have some good news for me? I do. I'm here. Poor Charles. Oh, you are. That is quite heavenly. I'm so glad now you're ready to carry on the mission at hand. I am. Where are you right now? I'm in a place called Club Red. Oh, interesting. The new Club Red. <laughs> well, call me with results as soon as you have them. <laughs> 